Ahoj, this is Zdenka. Budget, budget, budget. This is budget option, but I don't know how good it is. Shall we test it? We should try. Well, how about in today's video, we're gonna create, instead of just regular smartphone looking video like this, we create film like movie like a video and I'm not talking about how to edit the b-roll together and cut the sequence and create the sequence I'm talking about the look the way the video will actually look I just want to know how good this thing is is it worth it or shall we save up What do you need? Well, you will need your phone. Every time I say that I'm gonna be filming with iPhone 12 Pro, someone comments below the video, well, but I don't have a 12 Pro, I don't have an iPhone 12 Pro. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what kind of cell phone you have. You can have an Android, you can have an iPhone, you can have one lens, more lenses. Any smartphone goes, let's do this. To get more stable shots, I'm gonna be using DJI OM4 gimbal since it is compatible with Filmic Pro, but I'm gonna be also showing ProTake app because uh, Filmic Pro has certain limitations. Let's go straight into Filmic Pro. Settings are important, so how do we set this up? I'm going to make these choices. Let's go to settings and I'm going to start with resolution. I will keep the same aspect ratio as it is, which is 16 by nine. It is going to change though once I add a lens to the phone. I'm going to film in 4K. I'm going to select Filmic Extreme to have the best quality, but I'm going to keep 8-bit recording instead of 10-bit because if I want to film in 60 frames per second, so I can slow down some clips in a post, if I select 10 bit, it is only allowing me to film in 24, 25, and 30 frames per second. I will also check high efficiency codec since it is available on my phone. That should keep the file sizes smaller. Next, I'm going to go to frame rates and select 60 frames per second capture and playback. This way I can slow it down in post myself. If I selected 60 frames per second capture, but 24 frames per second playback, it would have been already slowed down, which I don't want. Before I set up more settings in Filmic Pro, let's, uh, let's look at this budget anamorphic lens. I did review Moment anamorphic lens before, which is not that cheap. It's the pricing is much higher. And many of you requested if I can show something a little bit more budget friendly. When you open the pouch, you will see that there are a few things already included, which is quite nice, actually. You're not just kidding the anamorphic lens. So obviously first here is the actual lens, which comes with this nice protective cover. Next, we have clips, which will allow you to attach the anamorphic lens to your phone in case you're not planning on getting the actual case. I actually do have Olanzi protective case on my phone, which I'm gonna be using to attach the anamorphic lens. You can attach the anamorphic lens to standard or wide angle lens or telephoto lens. You cannot attach it to ultra wide angle lens. What is also included in this little pouch is the filter adapter. That's a very good thing because if you're gonna be filming outdoors, you will, and in manual mode, you need to block the excessive light and for that you definitely need the um, filter adapter. So looking at this package, it already has a lot of things included. You are pretty much set. You just need to open it up and uh, attach it to your phone and you're ready to go. So now that I have it attached, I need to enable it in Filmic Pro. Let's go to hardware and select 1.33 anamorphic adapter. Now I'm getting the nice wide look. And as I mentioned before, as I will be filming indoors, I don't need an ND filter. Let's go back to settings and finish that up color profile hmm i'm filming in 60 frames per second so the only option i have here is filming in natural profile 
I wish I could film in log, but I cannot do that. It's only available if you are filming up to 30 frames per second, and that's fine. I'm going to log the white balance, select 120th shutter speed. It's 180 degree rule. You film in 60 frames per second, you get to double the shutter speed. That is why it is 120, one 120th of a second. ISO I'm going to adjust until I'm quite happy with what histogram shows. I don't want to crash blacks or whites. All data should be nicely in the middle. Well, let's film this. Just to show to some who are interested, I'm using all kinds of different light sources I have here. It's always all about the light. The more balanced, moody you make the interior, the nicer it is going to look like in the video. If you just let the outdoor light all the way in and the interior is going to be very dark, you're going to have a pretty hard time with the final outcome. So try to avoid filming during noon. Try maybe for early morning hours or later in the afternoon if you're filming interiors. So that is it when it comes to filming pro. You can take the footage and grade it a little bit later on in the post to give it a certain look. But how about if I want to film in log in 60 frames per second? See, here comes the reason why I actually like filming in a ProTake app. DJI OM4 is not compatible with this one, but Zuyan gimbals are. It doesn't matter though, I'll film with DJI OM4. Let's go ahead and set the settings. 4K resolution, 60 frames per second frame rate, shutter is 120th, ISO I'll pick later, white balance locked, lens I'll do wide. I'm going to go to settings, keep 8-bit color space because I can film in lock, see profile in this one, go to accessories and enable anamorphic lens, there. I'll go back, select lock, see, Check histogram how it looks, select appropriate ISO. I'll keep focus on automatic and ready to film. This is very much simplified from Filmic Pro, that is why I like it. So how is this Ulanzi anamorphic lens? Well, the image is certainly a little bit softer. It is not as sharp. And I also noticed that the edges are a little bit blurred out. There's a little bit of um, bending and a little bit of vignette as well. but. Otherwise, overall look is quite nice. Um, the flares are pretty nice. Um, the look is decent. You get lots for the money with all the accessories. You basically need to make a decision based on what you saw in today's video. If this is the look you're looking for, this is the look which will work for you and that's something you would like to have. And as always, for those interested, the link can be found below the video in the video description. I also placed links to my past tutorials, which I think you might find pretty helpful. How to color grade log profile, how to film in Filmic Pro, and how to film on your smartphone in manual mode. Well, hit the thumbs up if you found this helpful and subscribe to future videos. If you have any questions, comments, or simply want to say hi or ahoy, you don't know what to do, leave it below and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Ahoy.